Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask industry insiders thought-provoking questions and give them no time at all to formulate deep, thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is renowned sound designer Rick Allen. Rick, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Daniel? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Okay, you're going to get 30 seconds for each of these questions. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, question number one. How has the shutdown impacted your work? Actually, it... it hasn't impacted the workflow because I'm, I'm in the studio. I'm still doing that kind of work. Although on the other hand, it has affected going out into the field and recording sound effects and that sort of thing, because, you know, there, there's, there's uh, a lot of the shutdown won't let you get into some of the places and the sounds are entirely different too. Uh, I miss the synergy of working with people. That is the biggest thing where it's impacted me is I think working with a group of people, uh, you know, when you're in a studio, the, the bass player and the drummer working together can create something better than just that one. Question two, what have you been doing to pivot? Um, well, no, 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 more seriously than that. Um, learning to work online with, uh, with video sessions. It's surprising. Uh, we had a spotting session for, uh, um, for a video piece that normally we'd have 15 people in a room around a conference table. And instead, it was a Pro Tools screen up on the, uh, the main screen and a, and five guys sitting around on a Zoom session in different locations spotting cues for the Foley. Uh, and that, that was a big change and I think a, a good change. It was interesting. So, Question three, with all of these changes, what do you think the future of our industry is going to look like? That's a tough one. Um, I, I, I'm going to kind of weasel out of answering it specifically because I think we live in an era where the technology changes so fast um, and so often in a way that we don't know. I mean, look at, look at having iPhones, uh, you know, 15 years ago. If you had said, what's the future hold, just nobody would have an idea to describe that. So I think there's still enough uh, advances in technology coming up that are going to change the way our field operates, the way it works. And that's something that really is kind of hard to nail down and describe. Again. Question four, what are you working on now? Well, a couple of things um, that I'm really enjoying doing. I was in the middle of working on some movie trailer sound effects fight scene uh, and a lot of punches and, and that sort of thing. Um, that's been put on hold because of uh, the situation and the shutdowns. The other thing I'm doing is uh, I'm kind of diving into organizing files in a way that I've, I mean, I've lost more sounds over the years than I care to think about. So I'm finally taking the time to use the technology, sound minor and other, uh, other things to organize, master and, uh, and find out the information and, and get the files in the right place. Question five, during this downtime, if you could collaborate with any one person, living or dead, who would that be? That's a tough one. Um, you know what, I think probably I am such a uh, Moog synthesizer fan, I would, I would consider it an incredible honor if I was able to work and collaborate with Bob Moog himself um, and, and get into his head and talk to him about what he was thinking when he designed a lot of these circuits and what he was planning and having the people use them for. Because that's, you know, it's totally different uh, in what I use them in sound design is probably what he was thinking about. You know, be well, thank you for that, Rick. So um, we're going to put 30 seconds more on the clock, and I'm going to give you a chance to ask to answer any questions that I haven't asked you. Ah, okay. Well, let me think. Um, that, that, you, you've done a pretty good job of having some fun questions. Uh, one of the questions I, I would think about is, um, uh, one question is, where can you get toilet paper? Uh, I like that answered. Um, the other one is... Um, how can I stop drinking as much during this isolation? Uh, <laughs> and then how, how, how can, in any way, shape, or form, how can this business get more fun? Because it's a blast. I'm, I feel very honored and lucky to be in this business and the way it is. Fantastic. Thank you, Rick. This has been absolutely wonderfully enlightening. And uh, Thank you. I'm sure that our fans will enjoy every bit of these, these wonderfully informative answers that you've given us here. It just, it just uh, goes to prove that I can't think as fast as I talk. So thank you for giving me a chance to, to muddle through this. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm.